Good morning. It's time for a Messianic Moment with Stephen Brock, who loves to go cruising, cruising through life, one port at a time. Yes, Royal Caribbean, but we've done a number of different ships. By the way, Donna and I love to cruise. If you've never done it, I recommend it. It's not that expensive, actually, and it's funny. Most people spend more money on the cruise than they do for the cruise. So if you've never tried it and you'd like something different, I recommend it. Take a, like one of those little three or four day cruises just to get used to it. And don't worry about being seasick. These ships are so big, they, they're like gigantic. You really don't feel the water that much. But today, let's get back into the main stuff here today. So, oh, by the way, I'm going to start off by saying, if you like what you hear, please share me out. Check out MessianicMoment.com. Check out my books. In fact, don't check them out. Buy them. Um, everybody who's read my books said they really like it. Both of them. So, not both the books, both the people. But go ahead and, and check it out. And please let me know if you like what you're hearing. Um, send me comments. Uh, if you disagree, that's fine too. Let's let's have a drosh. But again, always be nice. You know, We're supposed to be children of God. We can talk to each other without being nasty. And um, I'm playing music in the background on this one, so let me know what you think about that, if it makes it seem better. All right, so the title today, Who Killed Who? Obviously, we're going to be talking about the Lord, our Lord, not God the Father, but the Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And who killed him? Because growing up as a Jewish boy, and now I grew up, again, I'm a child of the 50s, so when I grew up, the church was still you know, pretty far away from where it is now. The church has come a lot, a lot closer to being where they should be, and I'm, I'm glad to see that. Still have a ways to go, but that's a different issue. So I grew up with all of my acquaintances that were Catholic or Christian, sometimes Protestants, Lutherans, um, I'm sorry to say, mostly the Catholics, I'm just, I'm not saying that against them, it's just that's the way it was, who would come up and say, you're Jewish, Jews killed Jesus, you guys killed the Lord, you killed God, and I mean, I'm like, what, what did I know? I didn't know anything then, I, I went to Hebrew school, I went to religious school so I could get bar mitzvah, I wasn't very much into the Bible, I didn't know anything about Christianity other than, you know, what Jews knew about Christianity then and now. You know, they don't like us. Um, so, you know, all I knew is that Jesus, yeah, he was a Jew, but he, <coughs> Jew, he went against Judaism and created this new religion that, did, um, you know, <laughs> that went out with the Crusades to kill Jews and went to the uh, Inquisition to kill Jews. And um, even the Nazis had got the bullets, God is with us on the belt buckle. So, you know, basically, Unfortunately for Christianity, anybody who's not Jewish who kills Jews would be Gentile killing Jews. So it's, it's you know, even if you're not Christian and you kill Jews, it, it's still, yeah, you're Gentile. You're all in that one big thing. Either you're Jewish or you're not Jewish. That's it, you know. Anyway, that's another topic we can get into some other time. So I grew up being told that, you know, we Jews killed God. And as I got older, I realized that, no, no, I would say the Romans killed them. You know, we didn't have anything to do with it. The Romans actually drove the nails in. They hung them up there. They killed them, not us. And then later, I got back into the final, my final re reply to that, um, as I got older, was, hey, look, he came to die for your sins, right? Because it wasn't our sins. We're Jewish. It had nothing to do with us, you know. He came to die for your sins, right? Oh, yes, he died for our sins. Well, and God sent him to do that, right? Yes, God sent him, he died for our sins. So all the Jews did was help, you know, so you can't blame us, we were just doing God's will. That usually shut them up, they couldn't figure that one out. But as I got to know God, and I, I came to be born again myself, and I started reading the New Covenant, and I started understanding more about Yeshua, and then I understood what it really means, the term, he died for our sins. I don't think a lot of people really know what the heck that means. I think they have no idea of the impact of what that statement means. And he gives us parables. He tells us about if you have a hundred sheep and you lost one, you leave the 99 and you go find the one. And you're so happy when the one is found. And the woman who lost a drachma, and she was so happy when she found the drachma, she spent it to have a party for everybody saying, look, I found my drachma. <clears throat> now he was talking about salvation of a sinner, but the point is, the one sheep out of 99, the one drachma out of a lot, what Yeshua was telling us is that every single soul is important to him. 
every single soul. He didn't just die for our sins. He died for my sins. He died for your sins. He died for their sins. He died for every single soul that exists. In Ezekiel 18, God tells us that he doesn't care to see that sinner dies. He doesn't want the sinner to die. He'd rather the sinner turns from his sin and lives. So the question, who killed Jesus, is one that we've heard forever. And the answer is, I did. Me. I killed him. Yes, you killed him. Yes, they killed him. But I killed him. That's the important thing. I now know that, yes, I killed him because I was a sinner. And if everybody else in the world who had ever been born, who ever was going to be born, lived a perfectly sinless life in accordance with Torah, I believe that Jesus would have done the same thing he did just for me. So because I was a sinner, he died for me. I killed him. Me. And that that hurts. <laughs> that really hurts. And it, it's a good hurt because it's a repentant hurt. It's a contrite heart. It's a broken spirit hurt. And that's what you need to feel if you don't. If you do feel it, you got the right idea. If you can say, I killed him. It wasn't the Jews. It wasn't the Romans. It wasn't anybody. It was me. He died for me. He got whipped. His flesh was torn. He was nailed to a tree. And he suffocated for me. He went through all of that just so that I could be with him and God in the end days. In the Acharit Hayyamin. The end days. In the new world. Olam Haba. So, that's the point. That's the message. Quick, simple. If you can't feel remorse and pain in your heart when somebody says, well, who killed Jesus? And you say, it was my fault. I did it. If you can feel that, you're on the road. <laughs> you're doing well. If you really don't feel it, brothers or sisters, whoever's listening, if you don't feel it, think about it. Think about it. He died for our sins. What that means is he died for every single soul that exists, including you and me. I killed him. That's the answer. Who killed Jesus? I did. He did it for me. And that's all part of that personal relationship that we want to have with Messiah Yeshua and through him with God. So that's it. If, if, if you're not sure what I'm saying, please, think about it. Um, read the parables I mentioned. Look them up. You know, the parable of the, the sheep, the one sheep missing, the one woman who lost the drachma. You know, read what God says in Ezekiel 18. Read the whole book. I mean, it's, it's the ultimate user's manual, right? B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. I love that. So thank you for listening. Again, check out the website. Share me out. Subscribe, please, to my website um, so you'll get notifications when I have new videos. And please comment. Let me know, even if it's just a short little. I mean, if you like it, please like it. If you um, if you comment, if you have you know any kind of suggestions for improvement, please let me know. Uh, I mean, I take them, but at least let me know. And uh, thank you for listening. May God bless your day. And Baruch Hashem.